to another Photoshop tutorial with me, Sigourney from Sigourney Whitesell Studio. And today I'm going to be taking you through how to get rid of the extra area that you don't need in your frame, whether it's because you need to um, crop it out or ex extend your backdrop. Um, there's two ways that you can go about doing this, so I'm going to show you both of them. With this file, I've done the general cleanup anyway, but as you can see, we've got sort of like the clamps at the top. We've got um, some gaps at the bottom and side of the frame and I will want to extend this out because um, this image will be used for banners, um, sort of email um, usage. So I want to give the client as much space around the image as possible. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the way that you can um, generate an extended backdrop using the cropping tool. So if we navigate over to the left hand side and click on your crop tool and just hit on the um, the image itself. Um, I'm going to drag the boundaries down so all of the um, all of the stuff that I don't want in the frame is cut out. So I'm going to just drag it all back this way and then I'm going to make sure that this delete crop pixels um, option is ticked. I'm just going to click OK. As you can see now, we've got sort of like a cleaner area, but we've lost a lot of room above and to the side. And if I just click back onto that, you can see there's no um, area outside the frame now anyway. So what I'm going to do is quite simply just drag um, the frame back out to sort of like the length I want it to be. And then I'm probably going to leave that side, but I'm going to go up a little bit more as well. And I'm just going to go up to the top bar and tick the box that says content aware. And what this should do is sort of read the data that's in the image or the clean areas and extend that out automatically for you. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends how clean the image is. Um, and it also depends how close the crop area is to like the actual object as well. Um, so sometimes it can start to repeat parts of the, the object in the frame. So I'm just going to go back up to the top and click the tick, um, the tick tool. And hopefully this should do a nice generative build on the frame and as you can see here it's done a pretty good job on this this side and going up but here it has start, uh, started to pick out some of the details from say the apple um, and you know sort of has created this sort of light pool here so the way that you'd be able to fix that is using your um, your stamp tool if you really wanted to or your cloning tool and go back along and sort of fill in the areas. This is obviously very rough, you would take your time um, and you can start to clone those areas back in um, and then maybe use the patch tool um, and then you could sort of fill in that area manually. So I'll just go back to that or as I said, using the patch tool um, or J on your keyboard and you can just um, pull this detail across and it should start to sort of remove those areas of um, of imperfections for you, making sure you line up that horizon line again. Um, obviously I'm just doing this very quickly as a demonstration, but as you can see this hasn't worked out um, 100%, um, but it is an option if you've got a very clean area and maybe you don't have as much um, sort of gradient lighting going on in the background. So I'm just going to take us back to the beginning um, of this, where did we go? Yeah, so if we go to the second option, we can do um, the generative um, content aware fill. So with my layer selected and I've got the square marquee tool selected, I'm just going to run the marquee tool over the areas that might want to be filled here. I'm going to right click with my mouse and do content aware fill. And then a panel is going to come up and it's going to start to build a view of what that might look like. Um, and from the preview box, you can kind of see that that looks that looks pretty good. Um, so we've done a better job than the cropped version already. Um, and then we're just going to click apply and then OK. So now what that has done is created a separate layer that you can play with. You can create a layer mask and sort of, you know, you can tick this on and off. Um, and then once you're happy, you can basically merge down that frame, which is what I'm doing now. 
um, and then you just continue to do it for the rest of the edges. So I'm just going to try it again here. Uh, right click down to content aware fill. And then this should start to build me a preview. Um, it all looks good apart from this top area, which we can fix. So I'm going to click apply. OK. And then, as you can see, that's extended that back out, but left that little bit of uh, dodgy detail in the top. So if I just right click on that new layer, it's created and merge it down so it's in the frame and then use my patch tool. I'm just going to draw around this and drag it down. And then it should start to fill in those areas that I wasn't overly happy with. So if I just do it for the rest of the image, just to demonstrate some more. And there you go. As you can see, that's now filled in that area of backdrop. We still have a little bit of issue here, but it's not as bad as using the crop extend tool. Um, and you can then sort of, you know, build your um, your extension down and do the same thing again. Um, and I'm just going to try it for the content aware crop tool and just see how that works out for that one. So just by using it, you can start to extend out your backdrop uh, without too much hassle. But if you have areas like this where, you know, some of the, the detail hasn't been quite picked up, um, you can use the patch tool, the clone tool, or maybe even the healing brush tool um, to start to get rid of those details, just making sure you line things up. And this should start to blend away those areas and just fill in a bit more of that light. Obviously, this is very rough right now. But there you have it. That's how you would get rid of sort of unwanted areas of um, your image um, and use uh, the cro cropping extension tool um, for content aware or using the uh, content aware fill tool. So I hope that helps. Um, just for a little bit of knowledge on this image, I'm not going to be extending them out as um, as these backgrounds as they are, because I like to insert um, perfectly colour matched um backgrounds into it so I will be cutting out this image and inlaying um, some backgrounds um, that are true to colour for the brand's, um, the brand's uh, assets so I'll be showing you how to do that in another video but I hope this helps if you've got any questions let me know and I'll try and get back to you and answer them.